The Jody Arias trial. The jury, as we said, deadlocked over whether Arias should get the death penalty. ABC's Ryan Owens was there in the courtroom. Ladies and gentlemen, I have received your note indicating that you are unable to come to a unanimous decision. After just two hours of deliberating whether Jody Arias should live or die, the jury of eight men and four women said they were deadlocked. The news stunned Travis Alexander's family, but almost five months into this, the judge wasn't about to accept that. At this time, please go back to the jury room and continue deliberating. With that, the jury spent another five hours deliberating Wednesday and will be back at it later this morning. If she isn't sentenced to death, the judge could decide between life in prison or even life with the possibility of parole. Something I asked about during my combative jailhouse interview with Arias Tuesday night. We talked to a lot of your friends, some of whom said that Jody is the most hated woman in America right now. Do you feel that? No, I don't feel it in here. I'm so um, incubated in here. You could conceivably get out someday. Do you deserve freedom? All I know is that if I were given freedom again, I would handle it very, very responsibly. So you think people should feel safe if Jody Arias is out of these four walls at some point? Well, I think so, yes. Um, if you're not abusing me and attacking me and threatening to kill my life, there's no reason to fear. So you're st you really are still sticking with that story? It's not a story. It's the reality. And it's unfortunate, but it is the reality. Another reality for Jody Arias? Twitter. Throughout the trial, she had a friend posting her thoughts about the prosecutor and the proceedings. Wednesday morning, she posted this. Never trust a reporter who has a nice smile. She never mentioned anyone by name, but she posted that minutes after the start of GMA. For Good Morning America, Ryan Owens, ABC News, Phoenix. Okay, let's get more on this from GMA legal analyst Dan Abrams. Didn't take long for them to come back and say we can't do it. That's right. So they almost immediately come back and say uh, we're effectively hung. And remember, they've already deliberated this for many, many hours, meaning they deliberated the is she guilty, is she not. So they kind of know what the others think on the jury. And so they very quickly came back and they said, you know, Your Honor, we just can't reach a verdict on whether she should get the death penalty. The judge says go back, and at least the good news in terms of the possibility of a verdict is that they did deliberate for the rest of the day, and they're now going to continue. But what happens if they come back again today and say we just can't do it? Well, look, at, at some point, the judge will declare it to be a hung jury. Uh, and at that point, an, uh, one of a number of things happens. Either the prosecutor says we're going to pursue the death penalty again. A new jury is impaneled just on the issue. Brand new jury. Brand new jury has to hear all the evidence again, but just on the issue of should she get the death penalty, meaning this new jury has to assume she's been convicted of first degree murder. And the only question they decide is, should she get death? But even that could take weeks and cost a lot of money. Well, look, the other possibility is that the prosecutor decides, you know what? Maybe I'll try and cut a deal with Jody Arias, because as you heard in Ryan's piece, there's a possibility of parole. Maybe I, here's what I think. I think that the prosecutor ought to try and cut a deal with Jody Arias, where the deal is life without parole. You've got to accept that deal, and we'll take death off the table. It seems to me that at this point, in paneling another jury to consider whether she should get the death penalty, and that jury could hang again, the, the cost, and beyond just the cost, um, you know, the, the process, the time, the effort, the emotion that has got to be going into it. But that sort of decision is one where the prosecutor will consult with Travis's family. But you don't family. think he's likely to do it? I don't think he's likely to do it. I think this prosecutor is completely invested in seeking the death penalty for Jody Arias. I also think that uh, the family uh, of Travis might not sign off on that. And while they don't have officially the say on a decision like that, prosecutors do defer to the victim's family quite a bit in doing that. But it just seems to me that if you've got a hung jury in this case, after all this time, to go through just the process of should she get death or not, uh, seems to me uh, a waste of, of resources. Okay, Dan, thanks very much.